Don't forget to make time for the things you love. It's easy for time to slip away. And at the end of the day, if you don't make the time for the things and people you love, you may find all your time gone and you forgot to get to it. Hey, hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by my channel where I aspire to inspire you to live up to your fullest, greatest potential and enjoy your life playfully. I'm uh, in my new-to-me 2010 Prius. I'm kind of excited. Been driving it around for about a week now and, uh, yep, starting to get to like it. And I'm about to paint my gate. Does that rhyme? Not quite. Anyway, that's got me reminded of, uh, that's one of those things that's easy to put off, easy to put off, easy to put off, but today is the day because I got the paint already out and a little bit on me because I went and painted my mom's shed door with the same color, so I'm going to throw some blue paint on the gate, and that almost does rhyme. Anyhow, for some reason that's got me thinking about things that you love and are easy to put off, you know, and I think that's so true of relationships, especially those that are closest to us. It's easy to take those people for granted. Granted? That's a stone. Granted. It's easy to not appreciate them fully, and especially maybe to not let them know how you appreciate them by making time for them. So I just wanted to give you a friendly reminder that... For one thing, you get more of what you focus on. So don't just focus on your problems. Don't just focus on all the crap that you have to do that you don't want to do. Make sure you focus on the things you love. Focus on the people you love. Focus on the food you love. Focus on the colors you love. Focus on the experiences that you want to have and make time for those. And don't even worry about that other stuff. Don't focus on that. The stuff you don't want will just fall away. The universe doesn't really know the difference between yes and no. It just believes you about where you put your attention to. And whatever you put your attention to is what you're going to get more of. So it's important to not just put your attention to the things you love, but put your loving attention toward the things you love. I think uh, this is a mistake that I used to make when I was younger. I would want someone's attention. I would want to, say, spend ta quality time with someone I love and I would get this expectation of how it was supposed to go. And then the first time that it got off that track of that expectation, I would have this like internal resistance where I would basically often ruin the relationship or at least the experience or at least lessen the enjoyability of the experience by by asking why, by trying to superimpose like hey, this is what I thought it should be like. Instead of just focusing on what do I really want, I want to have a loving, connected, communicating, growing, expanding, exciting, unifying, collaborative experience with people. You know, whenever I'm giving my time to someone and asking them to give their time to me and their energy, I would prefer to have a enjoyable experience together. And that doesn't mean everything goes perfectly, but it means that my attitude toward it is, yay, I'm getting to spend quality time with this person that I love. And so whatever happens, we're going to deal with it together. We're going to face it together. We're going to get through the day, the meal, the ride, whatever it is together in enjoyment and in appreciation of the fact that we get to do it together. So that's something I feel like I'm getting better at. And we'll continue to get better at. I'd love to know, uh, let me know in the comments if that's something that you have mastered, if you feel pretty good about it, or do you tend to treat the people that you love most sometimes the worst and not give them as much time as you would like to think that you would in your head. I find this to be true. I'm curious to know what you find, what you experience, and if you are a person who does feel like you give quality time and attention and energy the most, your best, to the people who you love the most, then maybe you can give us a clue in the comments as to how you do that. Does it come naturally, or do you have to 
do something specific, set aside time, say things specifically. How is it that you managed to do that? I'd love to know. Let us know in the comments. And as always, till next time, peace, prosperity, positivity, potential, and don't forget the playfulness.